Hello YouTube and welcome to another video. My name is PonyXL, my AK PonyBus. And today I'm bringing you guys from Grand Turismo 5. I know it has been a long time since I've done it and I do apologize because I know a lot of you guys subscribe for this game. Um, but the good news is I've really been playing this a lot and uh, I'm gonna do way more videos and also if you guys wanna play with me online, be my guest. I, I really love to play with you guys this game. Um, and actually I might create a tournament or something and the winner will get like a, a, a nice car I'll like customize a nice car for them and give it to them or something like that I know I said that a long time ago that was an idea a long time ago but then I got caught up in a lot of time uh, that I didn't have so uh, yeah that's kind of the reason but yeah uh, so this is the Norch Life uh, if I pronounce that correctly uh, I do apologize if that's not the case I'm using the 4 GT the only thing I did to it is lose as much weight to it as I can and use uh, chip tuning and I uh, use racing soft yeah racing tires soft so those are the basic adjustments I usually do to a car like this and sometimes well actually it might be the case I'm not sure but I might have put a different gearbox in here as well because that's something I tend to do a lot but yeah, this car is amazing. Uh, yes, I do have a lot of <laughs> assists turn on, ABS and, and whatnot. Um, I know that's kind of new because I've, yeah, I've been playing this game for such an insane long time. But now I should be able to drive on other tires or like uh, without a lot of uh, assists basically. But then again, um, I really love this game and hopefully you guys uh, understand that it's, you know, is love for driving the game and the thing the reason I don't like to drive with the assists off is because I'm easily distracted therefore um, I have to s set my mind to zero and the driving you see here I can't do every day perfectly like this was one of my better better laps of the Norch Life and by the way the 4 GT is an insane car, use it if you, if you can, uh, if you play Grand Turismo 5, buy it, it's really really good acceleration and the noise, the the, um, the, the handling is, is, is just insane, it's really cool, uh, you guys should totally get this car, and uh, it's, it's really good for, for this track as well, so but yeah, the game is, is you know, I, I've, I've been playing a lot, uh, yeah, huge munch, uh, munch I've played it a lot that's really <laughs> let me put it that way I don't know what I said that <laughs> just there but oh well so here's some things that are so imp so important in a game like this is driving like persistence like you have to take the corner every time the same way that's how you win races and how you can be consistent and get seconds of your lap basically but the thing is I usually make a mess of it because my concentration level is kind of low at a lot of points I have like a problem <laughs> with that I have a lot of things I notice not only games but you know uh, back in the day it's school work and uh, all that sort of thing but uh, yeah just just try to be persistent and like precise and take the, the corners at the same time every time that's how you can learn to properly drive and of course you can use the, the, the racing lines in the beginning to get used to it uh, that's a really nice uh, helping factor and uh, that's really well done and for you uh, you guys know probably some of you guys know that I also have Forza 3 but I don't have Forza 4 the reason for that is I don't like the price I don't like the, I'm, I've become really cheap these days um, <laughs> I don't like buying expensive games that much anymore. Otherwise, I would have had Uncharted 3 by now for a long time. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna get uh, Forza 3. Uh, I mean, for quite some time. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I still prefer Grand Turismo 5 driving-wise to Forza 3. I'm not sure how to compare this to. Uh, Forza 4, I've not played it yet, but uh, driving wise, I really, really, really like Gran Turismo 5. The only things I don't like about Gran Turismo 5, and it's a big factor in racing games, of course, is the sounds of the cars. 
a lot of cars sound the same and don't sound as if they have heavy engines like heavy exhaust or some shit like that and that that's a real pain in the ass I had for instance I had a um, a motor modern Dodge uh, wait no, no Chevrolet Camaro SS really nice car but that car sounds like a vacuum cleaner when, when you use it and it, it's kind of sad and if you tune it the only benefit from that is that when you tune it it will still sound about the same and it won't get any like higher high pitched um, with a lot of cars where you tune the car it makes a, uh, a higher sound which I, I kind of don't yeah it kind of sucks actually but uh, depends on the car usually I put it superchargers I don't care about that I like the, 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 the high sound that makes that's nice compensation because you still hear the heavy engine noises but at the same time uh, you hear that nice supercharger going ape shit in an engine <laughs> so yeah like that's basically like, like for instance the 40 t sounds phenomenal I, I love this the sound of that this car makes a lot but yeah other than that yeah a lot of cars sound shitty to be honest and uh Currently, if I have to say what my favorite cars are in Gran Turismo 5, it's really hard, but I think the 4G is at number one right now, followed by, mm, it's actually hard to say, let, let me put it this way, I think the 4G is one of my favorite cars as of now, uh, handling wise and the sound and just everything combined. But yeah, this is my video, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll make more videos of Grand Turismo 5 soon. So thanks for watching. Bye bye. Bye bye.